guys and welcome back to another Heroes and Generals weapons review. Today we're going to be taking a look at dun 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 the chicken gun aka the PPSH 43. You guys voted for it with an amazing upvotes on the previous weapons review video. Thank you guys for all the votes. So here it is guys. Here it is. Well, <sighs> Cobra, what's the gun like? Um, well, what can I say? It, it, it's a unique gun, it makes a unique sound. Um, I call it the chicken gun simply because as it fires, it sounds like a chicken that's got hiccups and Tourette's at the same time. Uh, so, hence that's why it's nicknamed the chicken gun to me. Now, uh, of course, somewhere in this video review, I'll post a link probably over here or down here to uh, actual real footage of uh, the gun being fired. So you can actually tell the difference between the, the in-game sounds and the real sounds. So first things first, how are we going to set up our soldier so that we get the maximum performance out of the PPSH-43? Well, first things first, you're going to need fast reload gold. And the best thing about fast reload gold is you do get it on your You get it on the SMG badge. So by the time you've actually unlocked the PPSH-43, uh, uh, you've only got a little bit, maybe less than a ribbon left to go before you actually get fast reload gold. So, you know, keep pushing it, keep pushing it, get your fast reload gold. Once you've gotten that, of course, you can go with the obituous uh, uh, heavy set, or you can go with the obituous quick, quick, uh, quick, po blah, 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 pointer, quick fire. Um, what I've decided to do is actually go uh, 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 with a heavy set for now, simply because the, the monochrome uh, uh, of one-hit kill rifles has literally just tripled in effect since uh, Heroes and Generals went live. This game is no longer in beta. Congratulations, Heroes and Generals. Congratulations, Ritu Moto, uh, uh, in releasing the game and finally going live. A lot more lively, a lot more player base. You've also upgraded your login servers. I did notice that. Anyway, back to the gun in question. So, you if you're looking for a fun all around quick haha kind of build go with quick point of defense over heavy set there's also another badge you may want to consider which is nimble nimble or tight grip you get tight grip from firing lmg so the dp28 will help uh, uh, towards getting your tight grip uh, nimble basically the reason why i say nimble is so that when you're in a building you're not making so many footsteps so you don't get that ubiquitous guy turns around real quick from around you know turns around and headshots you sort of thing basically you get the jump on the enemy and so nimble will help you do that uh, a, a quick point of defense will help you with hip fire uh, uh, and of course tight grip will help you when you are firing while ADSing which means your groupings will be more grouped together so those are badges that you might want to consider for this build I've gone with fast reload and the ubiquitous heavy set uh, what I might do is uh, during the montage I will add uh, 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 a little in the bottom corner what perks I'm using during those montages so you can actually see the difference between the two themselves uh, but for now uh, uh, my ubiquitous combat combo wombo is fast reload gold and heavy set notice i don't have heavy set gold yet i think i'm about to unlock it yeah see i literally just got into the very last tier to unlock it but there you go guys that's the badges now let's set up the gun so that she's performing now as you can see i don't have the gun to four star gold why is this cobra i normally don't do reviews until the weapon is at least four star gold the reason being is the gun how i've got it set is perfect for my playstyle. again my playstyle may differ from yours okay so it basically let me explain how how i've got my gun set up i've gone with the lightened bolt and that's pretty much it uh i i, I do as you can see have the uh the field trigger I don't have the field trigger equipped simply because it doesn't do anything. The lightened bolt gives you the same fire rate. Yeah, a, a little bit less damage at range, but again, you're not looking at range with this weapon. This weapon is clearly meant to be an assault weapon. It's clearly meant to take an objective uh, 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 it, it, and hold the objective, i.e. you stay inside the buildings. There's a long line, if there's a long lane of fire, get the hell out of there as you can see i'm only carrying 140 rounds as well of the weapon so my current rate of fire is 654 rounds per minute with a three second reload time and a 35 round magazine uh so yeah pretty much that's it guys no barrel uh, uh, uh now i know normally i i would go with my hip fire ammunition if i'm going with a hip fire build but i'm not so as i said again in the previous 
section where I was talking about badges. If you want to go with a hip fire build, i.e. you've gone with the hip fire badge and fast reload, you might want to look at getting the P41 ammo. It will get your, your, your grouping down even smaller, which means you know you don't have to necessarily constantly ADS so you've got more speed. The idea of a hip fire build is that you don't ADS, you don't slow yourself down, you just look at a general target in the general direction, put the crosshairs near them, pull the trigger and just dacker them down at, rain, at, 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 at hip fire sort of skill. Now, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and buy the ammunition. I'm not gonna equip it just yet, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna hit, click this little wrench and I'm gonna go auto, auto repair and go back to the stock ammo. Now, like I said, don't bother with the sights and really the trigger, it's just not worth it. The bloom increase for uh, the extra rounds per minute is just not worth it, plus the repair bill, guys. You gotta think of the repair costs. Uh, as you can see, no fancy schmancy camos. Don't need them. Stock it is. Uh, I, of course, you take your my typical H3s in case I come across any heavy armor or medium armor. And of course, Mr. McStabby, my AVS bayonet. Uh, so pretty much, guys, that is the build. Uh, we've gone through the badges, which is fast reload, heavy set. Alternative uh, uh, is fast reload and quick fire, quick point of fire, or you have fast reload and nimble if you also plan on going to stabby McStab stab people. But pretty much guys, that is it. Um, it's a simple build, it's a wonderful build. Um, so look forward to seeing the montage, my friends. And until then guys, keep your shows flying, keep your enemies dying. I'll see you in the battlefield. And don't forget guys, I'm on twitch.tv slash deceptive cobras seven days a week. And most importantly, my friends, most importantly, please comment down below on what weapon you want to see in the next weapons review video. Till then guys, I'll see you in the next one.